you're thinking about, should I do a hybrid or in-person PT program? The hybrid program usually is accelerated and takes about two years, and a traditional in-person PT program takes about three years. So <laughs> lengthwise, obviously the hybrid track makes a lot more sense, but physical therapy is physical, and we have to move things around and get a feel for that. So what is better? So we're gonna answer that in this video. What's up everyone? My name is Dr. Justin Lee, physical therapist. I'm a PT school admission expert and I help students get accepted into PT school. So there are two different types of programs out there, right? You have your hybrid, which is gonna be in-person and also online, and then your in-person traditional program. So let's talk about the differences really quick. Now these hybrid programs for all types of lecture and the academic stuff, you're gonna be online. So you're gonna be at the comfort of your home, just like how you have been going through school during the pandemic and learning and everything like that. And then usually these hybrid programs have what they call like lab immersions. So every several weeks, depending on the program, whether it's um, quarterly or every several weeks, every two weeks, whatever it is, on the weekends, usually, you'll fly into wherever they are having their program, let's say in Texas, and then so you're from Wisconsin and you're flying all the way to Texas, and then you have these lab immersions. And these lab immersions go for many, many, many hours and typically the whole day. Eight hours, 10 hours, just intense lab work. Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or whatever. Saturday, Sunday, weekends. Then you fly back and then you do your online studying again. And this concept just goes on and on and on throughout all the skills that are necessary for PT students, whether that's through neurology, orthopedics, the inpatient hospital, etc., and things like that. And the, let's talk about that here in just a little bit. And then you have your traditional three year program, right? And what that works is like you have in-person learning, you're on your lecture, and right after that lecture, you're going into the lab portion and practicing the hands-on stuff that is applicable to exactly what you learned. Now, if we're taking a big picture as far as getting that information and effectiveness in learning from education to application is gonna be a way more effective tool for long-term learning versus education wait a week or two and then do the application where it's all crammed into one session. Now, first off, you cannot deny that you learn better and you retain way more information when you are doing things multiple times, when you break a big chunk of studying into couple sessions, right? Versus cramming everything in into one session. And that's the big picture of this hybrid level and traditional thing. Is in my perspective, I really think the level of retaining the knowledge is gonna be critical, right? Um, and in person is gonna be way more effective at doing that versus the online hybrid model. Now, <laughs> if we look at the end goal here, the end goal is to graduate and then pass the national exam. And quite frankly, the hybrid model does a good job at that, <laughs> surprisingly. So students who are in this hybrid model end up passing and graduating with the doctorate of physical therapy program and they're given enough knowledge and tools and resources to pass their national physical therapy exam, which is the ultimate goal. Because then once you graduate, once you have your license, then no matter wherever you graduated or what kind of program you've done, you're able to go off to call it or go off to and uh, uh, get different jobs. And check this out, in physical therapy, it doesn't matter where you graduated from. It's not like law where you have to go to Harvard Law and then you're in this prestigious thing or engineering or med school. Like as long as you have that license, you're good. They don't care where you got your, your education from, people will still hire you. So that's a big thing there. But I think the biggest thing that we gotta really think about is the level of education and the quality of education, right? If you're constantly getting things into your mind for several hours throughout the week and going from education to application, that's gonna retain so much more versus having these immersions. Now, another th aspect of it, and those of you who've been going through COVID and online learning, 
you've experienced that and you've also experienced in-person learning. <laughs> um, as far as if we're just really taking a good look at ourselves and, learn, and thinking about, okay, did we retain the information? Was it actually helpful? Was the money that was spent to get this education worth it? And if we compare online learning versus in-person learning, chances are the in-person learning is where it was most worth it. Those of you who are online, working, doing all your school online, I mean, who knows what you have done? Who knows how distracted you were? Who knows um, what test answers you researched while you were going through that, right? Or on your phone. I mean, I'm sure you're a person with integrity, but I know the temptation is there. And the reason that, you know, tests and things like that happen is to challenge you so that you can actually study and retain the information, which is why in-person is way more effective. Now, just think about your experience during COVID and online learning, take that into DPT school. I mean, how effective are you gonna be? Sure, you might be a pro at online tests. You might be a pro at doing this online hybrid model, which also has its pros and cons because of flexibility and you can study whenever you want and you're at the comfort of your own home in some pajamas, right? But um, yeah, in my opinion, in-person is what it's gonna be. Now, the last thing I do wanna talk about is cost, right? Now, those of you who have been watching this video, I'm gonna, uh, till this point, I'm gonna really give you a golden nugget here. Cost, two years versus three years. PT school is, you're gonna pay per year. So obviously the shorter amount, the less amount of money, longer amount, the more amount of money that you're gonna spend. So those are some things you gotta consider. Do I wanna spend less money in this hybrid model, but get a okay education or be set up to get an okay education? Depends what you put in, right? Or do I wanna put in a little bit more money and then get a higher quality education? In my perspective, in my opinion, you're gonna be doing this for your life and this is gonna be your future career and this is an investment for that. And if you just did the bare minimum to get by and are set up with a model that doesn't really emphasize deeper level of learning, deeper level of uh, precision and hands-on care, then sure, go for the hybrid model just cause it's gonna be faster, get things done, you're gonna be a doctor in two and a half years or spend a little bit more money and a little bit more time, a little bit more effort, and have a lifetime of high quality care, of high quality education. And whenever patients will come to you and ask you, hey, you know, why does this happen to my shoulder? Why does this happen when I walk like this? You'll have all the information to know exactly how to answer that question because you invested your time and effort and money <laughs> into that. So I hope this video was helpful, hybrid model versus in-person model, which one do you go towards? And uh, I hope some of the things that I mentioned to you was, uh, was uh, helpful to help you make a decision. Every day is a great day to lift weights, lift others, and lift yourself up. Lift for change.